Hi, my fellow YouTubers. I just want to show you how I save $35 every month on my haircut by doing it myself, DIY haircut. Um, to tell you the truth, every time I go to the hair salon, they never leave it exactly like I want it. And I don't know if I have bad luck in choosing the correct place, but I've gone to several places and um, I don't like it. Uh, so to me, it's a waste of money, a waste of time, and I can do it um, by myself at home, uh, especially right now with COVID. I save money and I avoid uh, the crowd and somebody cutting my hair with somebody else's uh, scissors. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how I do it. It's not perfect, but it helps a lot uh, on my hair uh, reduces the weight uh the washing time it feels comfortable it feels light uh, i could trim more but uh, i'm gonna do hair color as well and i'm gonna show you in the next video um uh, how i'm gonna do go from my hair color to a lighter uh dark no a lighter brown so uh, hopefully it comes out good and uh, what I do is uh, here what I'm doing in the picture is I comb my hair after I wash it and I blow dry it I comb it then I start uh, with sections so I do section by section and I do it however uh, they, it's still you can't really tell you can't really tell with my hair if it's chopped off the wrong way or not I tell you, every time I go to the beauty salon, I don't see a difference, so might as well do it myself. Uh, so, I know some of the hairstylists, they wet their hair. I did it dry. Um, maybe next time, uh, I will do it. I will, I will wet my hair before cutting it. I don't know if it's, if, it, if it's probably better or easier, uh, but it was kind of hard this time because it was, it, my hair looks kind of dry. So... Yeah, I go into sections. Uh, I put it up in a ponytail first. Uh, sorry, I put it up on a ponytail. And then I tie it up all together. I comb it and uh, I cut as much as I want to. And then I um, comb it again. Once I take off my rubber band, I go into sections and uh, sections... Um, I don't know how to explain to you how I'm cutting it, but as you can see in the video, that's what I do. Um, I go uh, on each side. I go one side first, and then I go the other side, and then um, I don't know how to do, do the back, but since I'm going on, uh, on sections on the sides, I go all the way back. I, so um, that's how I try to cut my, my hair and... Uh, Everybody has said, you know, my hair, I get compliments that, it, that, it, that it, it looks good. So I'm happy with it and I get compliments on it. So I also use Monate. Uh, I'm not trying to advertise it, but I use uh, Monate to protect from the uh, heat from the blow dryer. I use their products, the hairspray and all that. So that helps a little bit too. Um, but I do have a hot um, blow dryer that seems to burn my hair. So, and it, mine takes forever to, to get dry with the blow dryer. So that's why I use um, the Monate. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, Monate protects your your hair from the heat and from the blow dryer. So I'm very happy with those um, products and. Uh, so yeah, this is how I cut my hair and um, after this I used uh, the flat iron and then after that I used the, um, the Monate hairspray and then uh, after that I used the Monate rejuvenic oil uh, for the frizziness or any hairs that are sticking out and that's the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoy my video. Um, I don't think you should try it if you are a picky person. Uh, so 
don't try it at all. Or if you want to chop off a lot and you have it really long, try to do it yourself. If you don't like it, then go get a haircut. But that's what I did. Uh, mine is long, so I that's how I started. I started chopping my hair by myself, and then if I I was like, if I don't like it, how it, if I don't like how it looks, then I'm gonna go get a haircut. Uh, but I've been doing it myself, and ever since I really uh, I'm happy with it, and I'm happy for saving thirty five dollars a month. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Give it a like and subscribe. Bye bye. And I saved myself 30 bucks. <laughs>